hello 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 my wonderful and beautiful and lovely people how are you all doing yes i know you're good i know you're good because if god be for you and i who can be against us nobody we are coming out strong daily to the glory of the lord my older my new subscribers you all are welcome you know i love you i can love you less you are just the best god bless you all richly in jesus name amen so today i want to come and advise us with this word stressless stressless yes when i mean stressless it's that a lot of people women men the stress of everything they think of everything they are just all the time stressing 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 without taking breaks without taking a rest without even relaxing you have to sometimes take rest it's very very important not just for you alone your spiritual life your health your well-being everything is good if you are not taking rest if you are not uh, sometimes relaxing what is it going to do for you what is it going to do to you you are going to break down you are going to break down you will see sometimes a lot of people think different things am i going to pay the children's school fees am i going to do this am i going to do that my clothes my shoe my work my house i need to build a house i need to have a car i need to have this i need to have that i need to i need to yes it's not bad having all those things is not bad but if because that thing has not yet come you have not yet achieved those things that you always wanted don't kill yourself it's not a do or die matter i'm telling you don't kill yourself don't oppress yourself because when you are depressed when you are oppressed all the time always thinking of what you have not achieved i'm telling you when you break down it will be very 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 serious so that's why in everything you are doing in life take rest it's not that bad for you it's you that is just seeing it that way it's not that bad for you complaining of what you eat when am i going to eat this when am i going to eat this when am i going to a lot of people when they don't have all the meat in the whole world in their sauce in their stew in their rice what they are eating they think that they are suffering a lot of people when it has been long they drink more they think that they are suffering a lot of people if they cannot buy that big car they have always uh, 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 wanted they think that they are failed or they are suffering and when you are putting all those things into your head maybe eating oh, look at this thing this is not what i'm supposed to eat now and i'm eating it oh god when am i going to be rich when am i going to do that when am I going to grow and have money and give my family whatever money they want? You want to kill yourself. Why all the time be, be occupied with how you want to do this, how you want to do this, how you want to help your family, how you want to do that, how you want to do that? Yes, I know sometimes it's, it's, it's not that easy. Maybe your family, they are calling you names. Or maybe as a man, you cannot uh, uh, really give that your wife or your children what they desire. I know it's so painful. But why do you want to kill yourself? Because the moment you die, those people are going to look for any way, how or how to live. God don't want you to die. You have every good thing. If, it is, if, if you can just realize and say no, God, I thank you. There are some people that cannot eat. There are some people, even this spaghetti that I'm complaining of, there are some people that don't have it. It's only in uh, uh, some, uh, uh, I would say, some people, when they are drinking like Gary or they are eating something that is not that, 
how am I going to take it? Maybe, how am I going to put it? Maybe, for example, when they are not eating, maybe they put rice and sauce. They put it in their front. There is moth in the in the in the rice. There is chicken. There is beef. There is a, 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 a lot of a skin tape, cow skin. Everything is inside of it. Ah, huh. yes, I'm enjoying. That is the time you feel you you have or oh, no. That is the wrong eating. So don't think of those things and give yourself pressure. Don't look at the money in your account and give yourself pressure. I want to tell you one secret. The moment you start having pressure for those things, it is very difficult for you to see front. It is very difficult for you to achieve what you want to achieve. Because why? As a man thinketh in his heart, so it is. Now you have occupied yourself with a lot of necessary things. You cannot think forward. Rather, you just sit there in the house there and be complaining. And say, oh my God, when am I going to have this? When am I going to have that? Looking at, you, you, we will not be looking at other people. It will be very difficult for you to do your own. It will be very difficult. Even you, will, you will even be calling God a partial God. Because why? You feel you have not achieved it. I will advise you that any time you want to look at those things that you have not achieved and start depressing. Look at those things that you have achieved and be happy with it. Look at those things that you have achieved and be happy with it. Because if not, you are going to fall down and collapse. And when you fall down, I'm telling you, I am telling you, if you fall down today and you die, the people you are stressing for, they love you so much. Under a year or six months, your name, you are not remembering it anymore. I'm telling you. So take a cheap pill. Relax. Chill up. Don't stress. God don't want you to stress. God don't want it for you at all. He don't want you to stress. He wants you to he wants you to think well. He wants you to live well. He wants you to have everything in his own time. That's what he said. If we faint not, don't faint. Don't faint in what you are doing. A lot of people today they are depressed. They are depressed. When you talk to them, hey! when you do this, hey! you will feel that it's because you talk to them. No. They are depressing towards something. A lot of people, when you when when you do something to them, they react quickly. You will tell that maybe it's like this person hates me before. Some some are just what they are reacting to. You are looking for the fruit of the womb for three years, four years, five years. Six years. Because of that one, you cannot get up in your room anymore. You are just there. When you died, how will the fruit of the womb come? Answer me. Have you seen anyone that stress add something to? Rather, stress collapse people. Your stress cannot add anything to you. Rather, it will collapse you. And the devil will be happy. When you are sick, go to the doctor. Don't say, no, I'm sick. Oh, no, I have to manage it. Uh, my, my family, these people, they need this money. Without doing that, uh, uh, with, with, without uh, going to this work today. No, tomorrow, I'll go to hospital. Next, tomorrow, you'll be procrastinating it. No, pray and wash. Go to the hospital when you are sick. Don't leave yourself. Don't leave yourself. Because of money. I did not say money is not good though. Everybody need money. Give me now. I will take home. I will take it. <laughs> but when you are looking for money, sometimes relax and see. How is my shoulder feeling? How is my knee feeling? How is my tummy feeling? What is happening to me? What is going on? Am I breaking out? What is it? Take care of yourself and stop complaining. Stop complaining. Because I love you so much. That's why I'm advising you in this way today. Yes. A lot of people are in diaspora. Having headache. I don't have house in Africa. I have not built house. I have not done this. I have not done that. I have not done this. Are you going to do it with stress? If you are gone today, will you do it? So why do you want to kill yourself? 
you have only boys boys and so what you have only girls girls and so what are you the one that is giving children why is he giving you a headache why your house is not the way you want it to be why are you stressing over it why will your disturbance have something to you will your disturbance change those things around you are too fat and uh -huh. The Bible says you should occupy it till I come. Even though you want to sleep, don't kill yourself. You are too slim. Uh -huh. Narrow is the way. Even though you want to fat, don't kill yourself. You are too short. Uh -huh. And so what? Is there no high here in the market? So why do you want to kill yourself? Why are you just 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 depressed for any, uh, uh, any uh, for just little things? You are depressed. You are thinking of that thing that you are passing through. Thinking about it. Sometimes your head is hot. Sometimes everywhere is turning around. Sometimes you, you don't even know. You just want to stay alone because you are not okay. Huh. I'm telling you. When you fall down and die. That thing will not be solved. And because of the people you are thinking about ways. They will live. They will live. No matter the situation in life. No matter the thing you are passing through, no matter how that sickness is, no matter that stress, don't let it depress you. Depression is very bad. I've talked to a lot of women. I've, 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 with God's grace, I've met a lot of women. You see a lot of them depressing. Because of what? I'm too fat. My family back home are complaining that I'm not doing anything. I'm married. There's no issue. This. I am too dark. I am too white. I am too this. My finger is too short. My hand is not long. My bubble is not out. My tummy is too big. My shoulder is too wide. My lips is not big. My eyes is too tiny. Complaining of different, different things. Don't go and fall and die. Because hmm, in the grave, there is nothing, no. There is nothing. That's what the word of God says. He said, whatsoever your hand find it to do, do it with all your heart. Because the grave that you are going, there is no work there. So when you die, know that those things is not there. So what you find that you are doing now, if it is just a small curse, if it is just a little work, if it is the work that you are receiving, salary, little salary, plan towards that your little salary. Don't kill yourself. If you are following a friend that is putting you under pressure, get rid of them. Don't hate them. But let them go far from you. Don't put yourself under pressure. I've said to myself a long time ago that I will not let anything depress me. If you like, call me names. If you like, say whatever you want to say. You say it with your mouth. I'm going to dust it away and move on. Because that is what the enemy is waiting for. They are waiting for you to die. When you die, you will tell that you, 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 will, you will see they are the first person that will carry your picture everywhere. Is that what you want for yourself? Eh? Is that what you want? I know that is not what you want for yourself. I know that is not what you want for yourself. You are so beautiful. You are so lovely. You are a good person. Yes. People might not be seeing it. Don't be praised because of that. I'm good. I'm kind. I want to help, but I don't have money. People don't understand me. They thought that because I don't have, because they thought that I have money, I don't want to give. I've even stopped dressing. Why would you stop dressing? Because of people. Yes, because people that want you to help them, you don't have. And for them, now you have locked yourself inside the house. I'm telling you, don't kill yourself. God wants you to live in good health. God wants you, he has said to you, he said, long life will life satisfy them. So if you use your, your foolishness and if you use your wisdom, uh, uh, your wisdom that is not good to kill yourself, it's not God though. It's not God. It's you that do it to yourself. But today I will advise you to turn around. To say no. This depression. 
My head is not relaxed. My life is not relaxed. What is it? All the time thinking. No. I refuse it. Refuse it. The word of God says reject it. It will flee from you. That is what God wants you to do. He wants you to reject it. He wants you to come out and say no. Because the word of God says as you declare. as When you declare a thing and it shall be established. What God wants you to declare it and say no. You can't put me on the ground anymore. You can't put me on the ground anymore. I am moving on. I am moving on to the glory of the Lord. Move on. And you will see God will be happy. The devil will be crying. Because the devil wants us, he don't want to see us happy. He don't want to see you happy. I'm telling you today. He don't want to see you happy. He wants to see you crying. He wants to see you crying. So you tell the devil, I am a joyful person. With joy shall I, shall, shall I draw water out of the well of salvation? I will not let you keep my joy. If I don't have money now, don't worry. I'm okay with the one I have. You will see when that your mindset change, God will come. And you will see your head will be cool. A lot of women hair, a lot of men head is hot. Before anything. Mm. Hey, hey, the children. Everything. Before anything, they provoke. So as from today, get rid of it. You will see that you don't really need too much of that medicine. It's for you to just change. Okay? Because a lot of people today, they are on drugs. Depression drug, different drug, drug, different, different drug. No, that will not help you. You have to start yourself from inside. So it will help you. I bless you all in Jesus' name. Whatever you desire from God, you have it in the name of Jesus. You are blessed. You are going out and you are coming in your family. Your household is blessed in Jesus' name. Amen. Bye-bye. Before we meet again, keep on bouncing in the Lord. I love you. If you have any contribution of what will help, a lot of people to get rid of depression. How, how do we have rest? Put it down below. Okay. Bye bye. I love you. Be happy so that you will not be late to rest. Okay. Mwah.